All right, good morning, everyone. Um, I am uh, Rafael Salamanca, Chair of the Land Use Committee. I want to thank Chair Moya, Chair Adams, and Chair Kalos for their work on our, on our Land Use Committee subcommittees. Today we'll be voting to approve the Spofford Campus Redevelopment Application, also known as the Peninsula. These five related actions, LUs 31 to 35, will facilitate the redevelopment of the former Spofford Juvenile Detention Center into a five-building mixed-use project with approximately 740 units of 100% affordable housing and light industrial, commercial, and community facility uses in the Hunts Point neighborhood in my council district. Today we will be also be voting to approve LUs 39 and 40, two much needed primary schools in Councilmember Van Bramer's district in Queens. We'll be voting to disapprove LUs 21 and 22, individual landmark designations for single family homes in Councilmember Jonai's district in City Island in the Bronx. Councilmember Jonai disagrees with the assessment of the LPC in that he does not believe that the architectural and historical merits of these buildings warrant designation as compared to the burdens of landmark designations on single family homeowners. Prior to the subcommittee vote, the subcommittee and land use staff work with Councilmember Jonai's office to arrange additional conversions between LPC and the owners of these two homes who are opposed to landmark designation. The committee is aware the, that LPC staff is often able to assure owners that designation is not a burdensome as it is perceived to be. LPC typically explains that it can provide valuable technical resources and refer owners to other resources, such as foundations providing financial assistance. Unfortunately, direct com conversations between LPC and these owners did not come to fruition in accordance with the recommendations of the subcommittee. We'll be voting to disapprove these items. Are there any questions or remarks from members of the subcommittee? No, well, I would like to very quickly just speak briefly on this project in my district, uh, the Spofford project. As many as you know, um, my district, the South Bronx, is home to, uh, we were home to three jails in my council district. And in 2011, uh, the ACS decided to close Spofford which was a dark moment in our community's life for over 50 years, which was a juvenile detention center. I've been working on this project since 2013, and I want to give a shout out to city planning, uh, Charlie Samboy, and to Ismini Espiliotis for manning management. Uh, we've been working on this project since 2013, and to know that we've been able to take this piece of land and create 740 units of 100% affordable housing um, have a home that's set aside and ranging from 30% AMI to up to 90% AMI, to know that we were able to extend the um, affordability from 40 years to 60 years, uh, to know that we were able to add what's called a food incubator to this project. So anyone that has a business in the community, whether they're building cakes or they're doing some type of uh, jars, uh, and they're doing this at home, they have a, uh, there's, there's space in, um, in this location, uh, 2,000 to about 2,500 square feet, where they can go and it's a startup business, startup space for their business. Uh, to know that there's, a, there's something called a peninsula. I was a peninsula uh, alumni when I was in pre-K, uh, and the community's been there for over 50 years. Uh, and to know that they're gonna be able to build out their own space is very rewarding. Uh, to know that uh, this project will include labor. The laborers will be there to do the demolition. You know, there's been many conversations about affordable housing and is it really affordable to bring in labor? I've always begged to differ that there should be uh, uh, conversations and there should be negotiations in which labor can be part of these projects and labor is gonna be part of this project. So I'm really excited about that. There's also going to be a training component where we're going to take residents from the community and they're going to learn on-site job skills and get an opportunity to join into some of these um, labor organizations. There's going to be open space where the rec center right behind, there's going to be 14,000 new uh, green space that's going to be added. And I got commitments from the, uh, from the developer that they will, they will redo the sidewalks on a 100-year-old monastery that's right next to this project. Um, I'm really excited about this project, and I really urge my colleagues uh, to vote in favor of this. All right, and at last, we'll be voting to hold a public hearing later today on pre-considered LU application number 1802. 39, 
PXX submitted to the Department of Citywide Administrative Services pursuant to 195 of the New York City Charter for a notice of intent to acquire office space for the Taxi and Limousine Commission in building located at 188 West 230th Street, Block 3264, Lot 104, Borough of the Bronx, Community Board 8, District 14. This item was not on landmark subcommittee regular calendar. Rules 11.30 of the Council Rules provides that in order for the subcommittee to hold a public hearing on a matter that's not included in our calendar, two-thirds of, two of the land use committee or subcommittee must vote to add the matter to the calendar for today's 115 subcommittee meeting. So with that, are there any uh, comments or questions from members of the committee? No, seeing none, I will now call a vote in accordance with recommendations of the subcommittees and with the support of the local members to approve LUs 31 through 35, 39, and 40 to disapprove LUs 21 and 22 and to add pre-LU taxi and limousine office space to the landmark subcommittee calendar. We will be taking one vote on all the items together. A vote of, a, of, of yes is a vote to approve the Spofford Campus Redevelopment La Peninsula and the two schools and to disapprove the two landmarks and to add the office space application to the calendar. Will the clerk please call the roll? William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on land use. Chair Salamanca. Aye on all. Gibson. Congratulations, Chair Salamanca, on the Spofford Campus Redevelopment. It's a great addition to the South Bronx. Um, I'm happy at the end result, and you and your team worked tremendously hard, so congratulations. I vote aye on all. Konstantinidis. Aye on all. Deutsch. Uh, may I please explain my vote? So first of all, I'd like to uh, congratulate uh, our Chair uh, Salamanca and uh, and it was really great um, um, being uh, chairing the, the planning and dispositions and the sessions, hearing uh, in replacement of uh, Ben Kalos, who was on paternity leave. And there's only one thing I'd like to add is that uh, I would love to see in the future on all new HPD projects and affordable housing uh, that should be set aside for veteran homeless. Um, so this is something that I'm going to be pushing in the council and to see if we could do that. You have a little under 500 homeless veterans, so in no time could we take them out of homeless shelters and put in, putting them in into um, regular living space. So once again, uh, I write I and all. Yes, Barry, I'll be quiet. Cool. I want to say uh, congratulations to our chair and then I uh, vote yes. Lanceman. Aye. Miller. Permission to explain? Uh, I, I want to congratulate Chair Salamanca on the project in your district. And I, will, and, and I just want to add that to be able to provide affordable housing at that site with such a tainted legacy uh, on young men throughout this city for nearly a uh, half century is a really positive move in the right direction is what we see when, when, when council and others come together uh, to create positive impact. So uh, with that, I vote aye on all. Thank you. Reynoso. I vote aye. Torres. I vote aye and I want to congratulate um, Councilmember Salamanca for his, he's a first rate negotiator, a credit to the Bronx and to the city and, and it's a, a victory well deserved. I vote aye. Traeger. Gorenchik. Aye. Adams. Congratulations, Chair Salamanca. Any time we can see affordable housing coming up under a legacy that seemed to be so dark, we appreciate everything that you've done. That said, I do vote aye on all. Diaz. Chairman Sal Salamanca, as a bronzai and a colleague from the Bronx, I, I want to cite you one. Passage from the Bible it says, "Without a vision, the people will, will perish." And you have a vision. You have you have shown that you have a great vision for the for your constituent. You are made of of proud in the Bronx, and congratulate you. And the district have been lucky and fortunate to have a leader like you. I vote yes. Moya. 
I want to take this opportunity to congratulate uh, the chairman on uh, this uh, great victory for you, but uh, more importantly for the community. Uh, your negotiations uh, are really going to have a long-lasting impact uh, on the people uh, who live in your district, and uh, you should be very proud of uh, what you've accomplished here. Uh, I will be voting aye on all. Rivera. Congratulations. I know how hard you worked on this project, and I'm so proud of you. So I'm proud to be a part of this council. I vote aye on all. I vote a 15 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. All items have been adopted by the committee. All right, thank you. I would like to thank members of the public, my colleagues, council, and the land use staff for attending today's hearing. And particularly, I would like to thank and acknowledge Dylan Casey for his work as deputy counsel for this land use committee. Uh, Dylan's last day with the council is tomorrow. Please join me in wishing him the best uh, his, at his new job in California. And with that, this meeting is adjourned.